Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Storm Collectibles Tekken 7 Devil Gin. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in that standard Storm Collectibles window box packaging. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's go ahead and crack this figure open and let him breathe. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Devil Jin. Now first of all, Jin is one of my, if not my favorite character from the Tekken games. I just love his look, his whole vibe. And then just his whole backstory with his family, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but now we're finally getting Devil Jin in the line, which is awesome, man, because that is such a gnarly look for this guy, and it really works with Storm Collectibles here. So first of all, I love the overall look of this figure. I love that he actually has his like tribal markings now that you see. You can kind of see his tattoo on his bicep there, but you can also see some like veining peeking through, which is actually part of the sculpt. That's not actually painted on, so those are completely new uh, arms that we're getting there. And then you got those markings right there on his chest, which look pretty good. Uh, pretty much everything about this guy is basically brand new, probably with the exception of the actual torso itself. Everything else, the arms, the legs, all new. Uh, I was at first thinking, well, maybe they just took those pants from the first gen and then put the chain over top of it uh but no these are definitely part of the sculpt now the chains all look really really good i love how it's just wrapped around back here and you can see some of the chain dangling from that looking really really good so it probably could be a sculpt a sculpted chain separate that kind of may would it be then these are just glued in place i'm not really sure but it does look like they're all part of the sculpt there again the changes look great i love the boots here that we're getting because normally Jin doesn't wear boots he just wears like the kick pads for fighting but now you have the studs on the boots right here looking really great again all of this looks awesome the back of the wings just look so nice too you can see that kind of dry brushing with that little bit of gray over the wings look awesome too and you can see more of the crack where his wings pop out of his back just looking pretty badass now the head sculpt looks really good too in my opinion i think that looks great you can kind of see i don't have to move his bangs he's so emo i swear to god that is just a, such an emo haircut for a, a tekken character but you kind of move the bangs out of the way and you can see a little bit more of his head under there with the red in the middle the eyes look pretty awesome and again all those tribal markings looking really good then you do got the horns on the side as well again looking very badass i just love this look for Jin. uh and the gauntlets dude uh, it's really cool how they design the gauntlets because they're obvious they obviously look like Jin's normal gauntlets but definitely definitely more like evil or demonized whatever you want to call it the knuckles and the claws and the hands and fingers all look really good uh, then you see that brushing on there to really bring out the skull it looks like a little bit of gold on top of that it looks really badass and you even have a chain wrapped around his bicep on this side with a little bit dangling there so yeah dude i think this guy just looks so killer i already love the look of regular gin devil gin looks insane okay so now we're gonna move on to his accessories and this is where i feel it's slightly lacking this is my kind of an issue not really probably just me just nitpicking uh but we do get several interchangeable hands we got the closed fisted hands uh we got more like uh different styles of open palm hands and clawing hands and things like that everything you're pretty much going to need for this figure and they all look really good again the same awesome looking sculpt with that real silver uh really cool looking silver claws for his fingertips and things like that those all look really really good we also do get interchangeable heads here so on the figure we do get the standard more, more stoic head which looks really great uh, we also do get this more like yelling head which I think looks awesome as well uh, with a more wide open mouth looking dope I love that and then we get the one with more gritting teeth again looking really cool as well all of them again have that same awesome paint uh, for like the tribal markings around his eyes the horns all look really good with that gold dry brushing over them all look super good what you do want to just be careful of I've noticed and I've done it a couple times when like changing up the head do you see how the ball peg just came straight off uh, it comes out of the socket in there hopefully that's just mine it's not a big issue I mean you can pop it in there 
back in. It's just really tight, uh, but it is a pain in the butt. So just be very careful when you're switching out the heads. Okay, so now moving on to the articulation here, uh, the head is that dumbbell joint so that kind of rolls around very, very nicely, does turn left and right, looks up and down pretty good, and then pivots side to side, arms can go full 360, they can go up and out like so, we also do get that butterfly joint in there, uh, and I totally just popped up his hand on, these things are separate, so just be careful when you're switching hands, these things will fall off, just, just to note. Uh, but the hands come off a little more easier than I would prefer, but it's not terrible by any means. Just be very careful. We got rotation at the bicep. We got a double joints at the elbow. See what, he, see what I'm saying again? I put just pushing up on the arm right here. The bicep pushed up on this and then pushed the hand off. So you can see it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. I think it's more just like the thickness of this. And I, maybe if I push those on a lot more, you know what? Yeah, that actually helps. I just didn't have those pushed on enough. So maybe that helps i should probably do that with this side too yeah those can go up a little more and then push the hands on more on the pegs that actually works out really really good so we got rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist uh we do get that ball peg at the midsection that rolls around like so does turn left and right crunches back and forth and pivots side to side we also do get an abdomen crunch that's inside here so you can kind of crunch forward with that and then crunch back with that, you know what I mean? So you do get quite a bit, bit of movement. We got hip joints that kick up and forth that far, back about that much, splits all the way out that far, rotation in that upper thigh. We got double jointed knees that are very tight, which is really good, so I love that. And the ankles kind of go up and down, almost no ankle rocker just because of the thickness of the pants, how they kind of hang over the boot there. Uh, then we do get toe articulation, but of course with this guy we do get the wings here, so you can get that more flapping motion that comes back and forth like that, where these can rotate on little swivels like that, and you can just pull them out if you really want to pop them back in but then they do flare out like so so if you want to get a more spread winged pose like that oh my god that looks awesome dude holy sure that looks so good doesn't that look badass oh yeah i love that <laughs> so much so the, the articulation works pretty good again my my biggest issue is going to be with the hands kind of falling off here and there but i think that might have just been a user error uh they seem to be on there pretty tight now but yeah the wings look incredible i am so freaking stoked to have another gin because i love my first gin that i got from storm collectibles now i finally get devil gin i do kind of want to pick up i know they're coming out with a different colorways uh, of the of the first gin so i definitely want to pick up some of those but he devil gin looks incredibly badass and he is absolutely a must get so for a quick size comparison here he is standing next to a marvel legends deadpool and mafex batman figure also for comparison here he is standing next to the standard Jin Kazama, also from Storm Collectibles. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of Devil Jin. Now this is yet another awesome release from Storm Collectibles, as Jin is one of my favorite fighting game characters. Uh, he is definitely my favorite Tekken character, but I absolutely love that we're getting the devil version of him. Their standard release is so cool, man. I absolutely love that piece, but getting this one is insane. Those wings are some of the best wings in that style in action figures today. Sometimes they can be really floppity and loose and won't hold their positions or really throw off the balance of the figure. These are very well done and balance the figure out very nicely. The detail in the paint on, on the entire figure is so nice. I love the brushing on the chain, on the gauntlets. The sculpt all over the figure is fantastic with those claws, uh, the emo hair and the horns, the chain again all look really, really good. The articulation works very well, very well, nice and tight joints. I'm not too sure how I feel about that seamless torso yet. It's a little awkward, uh, so I don't know, maybe they can improve on that later. So I still like it though. I think it looks really good. My biggest issue is gonna be that they just don't have an effect piece, which I always love Storm Collectibles effect pieces. But I think with this figure, uh, they were just meaning the wings to kind of replace the effect. So that's okay. I still love this piece. And for me, he is definitely a must get. So be excellent to each other and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.